kind of provisionalize or protect the implant uh, is we'll just put a helium bomb on it. A helium bomb, again, it just screws into the implant, and this is on the day of surgery, so we can screw this in, tighten it up. Remember, the implant has primary stability at this point, and that helium abutment. That felt so good. I know everybody's been really stressed lately with everything going on. I gotta say, at least for me, taking time out for myself, whether that is going for a run or doing some yoga or just doing something that calms you and kind of takes your mind out of everything that's going on is really helpful for me. So I hope that you are taking the time to take care of yourself in whatever way that that might be. And honestly, if you're in dental school, that's something that you really need to be doing anyway because dental school is stressful. <laughs> so having something that you know you can do that relaxes you, calms you, kind of brings you back to center, it's very easy to get thrown off with everything that's going on around us, is very, very important in dental school and isolation and in life. So if that's not a skill that you have yet, then find what method you need to do that and do it regularly because it's important to take care of yourself. You can go, go, go all day long, but if you don't take time for yourself to really take care of your mind, body, spirit, then you are going to burn out. And then what's the point of all the work? And now that I am centered, time to do some construction work. We've located to the bedroom. We are now sitting at my dressing table. I still love this thing so much. Ugh, best project ever. All right, and what we're going to do, hi honey, hi babe. <laughs> we are going to replace this big old massive dark bookshelf with this white light and airy one. It's gonna be a lot shorter and wider. This just feels so massive in this room because for the most part, the rest of the room is pretty light. So having this in here is very imposing in the whole room. It's just like a cheapy bookshelf that I got years ago and it was meant to be temporary and I just still have it. And considering I have never had any intention of taking this bookshelf with me after I move out of this apartment, I don't mind getting a replacement because with this one, I feel like when I do move out, it'll be easier to integrate into my new place from there on out. So I'm going to take all of this stuff off, move this big guy out of the way and build this one, make it look all cute and fingers crossed it looks fabulous. By the way, this is my like old grandma chair and I realized that it does not really fit with the aesthetic of the rest of the apartment. However, it has a very special place in my heart, so I cannot bring myself to get rid of it. Um, at least not yet. I do plan on eventually recovering it, which I feel awful about because this really is super antique, messy original fabric that it was created with. So part of me hates to replace it, but the other part of me would really prefer that it went with my apartment a little better. So, so we'll see. But for now, the grandma chair, even though it does stick out like a sore thumb, it's staying. gotten very warm in here and this hair is something interesting but look what I found underneath the bookshelf I don't know how it got there I don't remember putting it there um, but you don't know what this is obviously so I'll tell you um, if you watch my very 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 first video which um, unlikely so I'll tell you now in 2005 I found out that I had a baseball sized brain tumor 
and everything is fine now. It's all gone and had surgery and wonderfully doing doing great now, but that's all beside the point. So these are actually my post-op MRIs and I'm not sure when, 5-5-2006, which was like six months after the brain tumor was removed. And so mine was a meningioma, if you're curious, which is benign and very slow growing, but oh my gosh, like this is so cool. Look, check it out. Okay, so on here, you can't see the tumor, obviously, because the tumor's gone. I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> but this is not really the one this is made for. Oh, yeah, that works out pretty nice. Okay, so the MRI takes images in slices through your head. And look, in this one, you can tell where they cut my skull <laughs> and removed a section of it. That's cool. So like that's like the seams essentially of where they were putting it back. And in some of these you can tell like there is a part of where the tumor was. So with this kind of tumor, as it grows, your brain basically like kind of just slowly moves away from it and makes room for it. So when it's gone, you still have this void right here. And oh my gosh, we used to make so many jokes about the void. And anytime I did something clumsy or like spaced out on something dumb <laughs> that was the excuse was like it was the void so i love these images so much especially after being in dental school and studying head and neck anatomy and actually like knowing <laughs> what all these different structures are that i'm looking at on here so interesting to me probably you know i've already probably showed you more than what you're interested in seeing anyway but i love these mris and i was so i was so glad to actually get to keep them and yeah, we'll keep those forever. It's super cool. Like it was a crazy experience, but you know, at the end of it, I got to see a picture of my brain, like an actual photograph that my surgeon took mid-surgery. <laughs> so I have an eight and a half by 11 photograph of that. I won't show you that because it's probably more gruesome than what anybody wants to see. But yeah, I know <laughs> that I have a brain up here because I've seen it. <laughs> realize what I was missing from all this process. One moment please. Wine. Wine is missing from this process. Life hack. If you are ready to drink a glass of white wine and you want it chilled but you forgot to put it in the refrigerator or you weren't planning on drinking it quite yet, frozen strawberries. Looks fancy. Totally utilitarian. <laughs>
I am so glad that's done. Okay, so I have it set up. I put my stuff back on here. We will see how much of this stays and how much of it ends up moving around. This is just kind of temporary seeing how it feels. This, by the way, is an old photo album full that my mom made for me. It's full of um, ancestry type things. That is super, super special to me. Um, jewelry box. I moved my perfumes over here and my little flowers. I have some handbags. Look, these little things. I don't know if they're erasers or I'm not really sure. I think they're just little cute rubbery things. My Japanese exchange student, Kensei, got those for me. thought that was so sweet. So those are right in there. This print is actually of a painting that my dad did. If it looks familiar, it's because this is his version of Vincent Van Gogh's painting and I don't know what it's called. I apologize. But so I think my dad was just testing his art artistic skills and painted that. The, uh, the original hangs in my parents' house and this is a print that my parents got for me a while back. Got for all of us siblings, I believe. Dior handbag. This jar back here is full of shells and rocks and money from different places that I have traveled. Jimmy Choo shoes that are on sale on Poshmark. They're beautiful and a half size too small, but they're so gorgeous, so I still leave them sitting out. And the books along the bottom are probably gonna get shuffled around a little bit because I have some little wicker baskets coming in that I'm gonna be storing some stuff in that's probably gonna go in maybe the middle one down there. Maybe I'll move those around. Got my flying pig on here. And then that paper back there it, and says, says my name in Japanese, which was give, gifted to me by a friend of mine who was traveling there. So there you go, finished product. It actually makes the room feel so much bigger just having the lighter color and having it not so tall and imposing that, yeah, I really like it. I feel like it looks a lot better with like my dressing table, <laughs> my mess in the bathroom. I have like a pile of laundry in the bathroom that needs to get taken care of, but that will happen tomorrow. I better wrap it up because this one needs to go O-U-T. She's giving me the signals. I better let you go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.